What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right you guys, and no snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? So guys, welcome back, and happy Saturday. So today, today we're here in the wonderful hold of Riverwood, taking a look at your home. Yeah, the name of the home is indeed your home, which I think is kind of interesting to, to think about that, to have that on the map, and it just say your home. So where exactly are we? Well, we're right here next to Riverwood, right there. So your home is correctly right there. Anissa's Cabin, Guardian Stones, and Ember Shard Mine are not far away. And then, like I said, your home is right there. So what exactly is your home? Well, your home is a very collector-heavy home uh, with a whole bunch of stuff to offer inside of it. Uh, and is simply put a simple home to have at the beginning of the game or in the middle of the game, or even for those of you that want it at the end of the game uh, to store all of your armors that you've collected over the years of Skyrim delving through dungeons and stuff like that um, and murdering people and everything like that. So the home itself is very beautiful on the inside. It's very dwarven ruins along with some of the Nordic ruins too because that's what it says in the mod description. The mod author is a big fan of building with uh, Dwarven architecture as well as Nordic architecture, but this grand foyer as soon as we come in is beautifully done. I love it. The ambiance is great. There's a decent bit of lighting in here. You know, it feels good. It, it doesn't feel like a home yet, but that's because we've only just started. So in typical Rancy fashion, let's break it down, shall we? So like I said, we walk in here at the beginning and we've got this gigantic water feature. Really, really well done, really, really cool. And all these really tall vaulted ceilings, look <laughs> they look very, very nice. Some uh, assorted art and statues around the uh, the home. You know, you've got this one from, uh, what? where was this at? The Skyhaven Temple, I think, or, or one of the, the uh, Nordic ruins. Uh, and then we've got uh, Malakath right there, which is pretty cool. Pretty sure that's Malakath. Is that Malakath? I think it is. I'm showing my, my, my lack of some knowledge from the Elder Scrolls, but that's okay. Bunch of statues around here. Then looks like over here we have a little bit of a storage nook. Possibly so. Is this a trap door? Oh, it, it looked like a trap door. Uh, possibly just kind of a nice little storage nook for you to store maybe some extra food, you know, some extra equipment. Never know. Maybe some extra alchemical ingredients if you start running out of space or you feel like you want to diversify where you're storing things. That might be a good place to do it. But I do love this gigantic water feature. Really, really cool to have. Very, very cool. And it goes into this great... Oh, but hello. The plot thickens. What is this? Oh, there's a trap door. Open Skyrim. What the hell? <laughs> Where does this take you? Okay, it just plops me out into a river. That's fine. Where are we? Oh, we're still in Riverwood. Okay. <laughs> I guess the house is right over there. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess if you need a quick exit, you just jump into your, your water feature and there you go. You're outside. That's actually kind of a convenient thing. Although, I, it's weird to put it right next to the front door because it's just as easy to walk out the front door as it is to then go through a trap door and then come out to the water. Strange way to do that, but to each their own, I suppose. I, I probably would have put that in like its own secret room or something like that, but I can't wait to see what the hell's up there. Got that lectern up there, that's really cool. But let's see what else we have to offer. There's a couple decisions that we need to make. We can go upstairs to that room, or we can go this way. I think, let's start right to left, and let's see what's up here first. What do we have? Aha, the master bedroom. Now this feels pretty homey. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a pretty homey feel to this. I think it helps because the walls are not empty. You don't feel as cold inside of here. You know, in some of these castles that you see, um, the mod author, they don't put enough on the walls or the lighting is not sufficient enough. But in this one, I think they did a great job on both. They did a great job lining the walls, making it feel a little bit more lived in. Not to mention the lighting in here does look pretty great. It's complimentary and it's really, really nice. Plus, it looks like we can store quite a bit of stuff in here. Got some little static decor over here, except it's not static. It can indeed come off. Which I hate sometimes because anytime I do that, I always feel like I'm just going to like throw everything off of there. But I guess if you don't have my control. But then we've also got some uh, mannequins right here as well as shield racks and weapon racks. We have ourselves a display case. Great to see. That does indeed work, unlike the Hearthfire shit. We have a loot, just in case you want to practice your loot. And then over here we've got storage for, yes indeed, the Dragon Priest masks. Great to see. Very, very nice when the mod author includes that. It's almost assumed that that's going to happen in pretty much every home you look at. And when it doesn't have it, it feels like it's missing something. Got ourselves the master bed right there with a big chest at the, at the bottom. And then over here, kind of a nice little reading nook. Would you look at this? Grab yourself a nice pastry, maybe a little glass of wine. Grab a book from your bookshelf or maybe from the chest. Who knows, maybe you're storing with the secret books. Maybe you got your Agma Infinium in there. 
Nice little end table right here. Very, very cool. Very nice little spot right here. And once again, the wardrobe right there. And good stuff. Now let's see what else we have. We have a nice little eating nook over here. Grab yourself maybe a plate of dinner and sit by the fire with your loved one. With little snowberries right there. I'll be taking those. Tack. Thank you. But let's go ahead and continue through the home, shall we? The the master bedroom, very nice start to the home. I think I so far I'm really I'm really really digging it so far, especially with this big trap door right here. Like I said, it was it was a little strange to do it right by the front door, but I guess to each their own. But now let's go through the big door, shall we? And let's see what's inside of here. If I had to guess, this is where you're going to be spending most of your time. Oh my God! Hello. Holy cow! This room just keeps going. It's almost got fog. It's so big. Look at that. You can kind of see the fog at the back of the room. Hot damn. Okay. Very nice. So this seems to be maybe an armory slash area to pray slash... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that it's an armory slash display case, display room, which is very cool to have. Now, I did read that in the uh, mod description. Oh, there's a place up there, too. That the mod author included quite a few places to store all sorts of stuff, and I really like how it's laid out. It feels like a museum. That's exactly what it feels like. The the quest where you go in Markarth into Kalsemo's laboratory, or the not Kalsemo's laboratory, the uh, the museum of Markarth, that's what this area feels like. And I have to, I have to say... I'm a big fan of that, because that area in Skyrim alone is just a vanilla place, but it, it brings it to this room, and it's really kind of, it gives it a nice vibe to store all of your stuff, because I don't know if, if you, if I'm like you, or you're like me, but I love to store all my weapons in the display cases. You know, the weapon racks, they're fine, but the display cases just give it so much more oomph, you know? Just kind of a neat way to display all of your weapons, and armors for that matter. Very cool to see. Very warm in here, too. I'm digging the fact that, you know, the cold is stone on the outside, but it is pretty warm throughout here. It's nice lighting, things on the wall. It's not too cluttered, but it's also not empty, and I kind of like that. The mod author made it, it's, uh, you know, they made it their job, it seems, uh, to make everything in this room the focal point. So whenever it's full, it's going to be a very cool room to be in here. But looks like we have a big dinner table over here set for probably eight people. You could probably fit eight butts there. And then you've got a couple chairs over here. Gigantic hearth. And I love the fireplace right here with the, the big dwarven pipes feeding into it. Very, very cool. Uh, strange that it has wind blowing through here, but I know that's something mod authors do to make sure that the, the, the flags, it's not like stagnant in here. It doesn't feel like you're living in a swamp. But let's see, got ourselves the weapon plaques right here. Very cool, 36912, very nice. Lots and lots of storage for weapons. Not to mention, I believe that's going to be a vertical storage. Let's go and take out the hunting bow. I'm just curious, I want to see what this looks like. Yeah, okay, so it is a vertical one. And I do apologize if you can hear some uh, noise in the background. Uh, like I said in the, one of the past showcases, they're still doing the construction uh, in the neighborhood over and stuff like that. So I do apologize about that. But continuing swiftly through the home, we can go ahead and come over here, and I, I didn't forget about that walkway up there, but I want to see what's over here first, because I have to imagine this is where your crafting and stuff is at. No, this is the kitchen. Ooh. Nice and cozy back here. Still somehow, they the mod author makes it so that it is warm in here, and it's very, very nice. I'm looking at the lighting uh, on my the Elgato as it, as it plays back to me, and it's, it looks better on the Elgato than it does in here, but I will say it looks pretty good here. Big preparation table right here to go and prepare your meats and your alchemy and stuff, because you do indeed have an alchemy lab right here. Alchemy ingredient storage right there, always great to see. Nice when the mod author's included. Got some very nice gems right there, a couple soul gems, arcane enchanter right there. And then I imagine enchanting. Oh, no, that's food storage. Okay. Perfect. Oh, and hello. Gigantic door back here. What do we have back here? Hmm? This is a training room. And there's a person right there. Do you see that person too, or am I just seeing things? So this is maybe a training room slash storage room. Got some of these dwarven chests. Great to see inside of here. And yes, indeed, we do indeed have... Yes, indeed, we do indeed. Good one. Have a training area out here. Nice to see. And then let's come over here. Oh, hello. Got a bunch of weapons over here. And hello, gigantic golden door. Aha, this is the vault. The aforementioned vault that is in the mod description. Very cool. Although I'm a little bit sketchy having it with the one person in this house besides you. A little sketchy right there. But let's see. What's this person? Need Her name something? is Jenna, and she has pe uh, fruity pebble face. Take a look. But that's okay. Uh, she has 9,154 gold, so she's certainly not broke. And she's got some damn good stuff in her. Holy cow. 
I'm gonna have to be coming Until back to talk time. to you there, Miss Jenna. Mm-hmm. But let's see, we've got ourselves maybe like a little alcohol nook in here. Little food storage room once again, maybe an excess storage, miscellaneous storage area right here. But I imagine because all of this is being stored right here, this is probably the crafting area. We... No, it's another storage room. Oh, no, I was right. It is a crafting area. Would you look at that? The plot thickens. What goes back there, I wonder? But let's see, what else do we have over here? We have ourselves the workbench, tanning rack. We have our anvil. We have our grindstone. And we have our smelter over there with a bunch of storage for all sorts of stuff. Would you look at this? And it all it's all named. Oh, yes, organization. I love it when people are as organized as me. Just makes me feel so good. Now, what's through here? What the hell? I imagine this might be a mine? Aha! I was right. Dude, this is cool! What the hell? How have I never seen this house? Oh, this looks cool. So I do believe there's probably going to be like one of every ore in this mine. If that's the case, that's a jackpot for those of you that love to just mine the stuff away and then, you know, make your own armors and weapons from it. Very cool touch, having the, the, the lanterns in here and stuff like that. Very, very cool touch. Got some chorus eggs right there to make some, uh, or no, yeah, uh, to make some invisibility potions. Very cool. Nice place to have in there. Definitely a cool thing and a definite bonus to living here. But let's see, what else comes through here? This is the gigantic storage area over here. God damn! Look at the size of these chests! They're the size of people! Alright, but let's see. So this- aha! Uh -huh. So that wraps around. That's nice. That's really, really nice. I love it when hallways feed into other hallways. Very cool. So I do believe that's everything that the house has to offer on this floor. But there was a second floor. Let's go ahead and walk up here and we'll see what we've got. That looks like we just got some pipes over there. And then we got some more pipes over there. It's interesting that they have a flag hanging there. That's really strange. Are they tr Wait a second. There's cobwebs back there. Are they trying to hide something? They are. Unless I just broke through the, the, the house and I'm just about to crash the game. No, this is deliberate. Yeah, this is deliberate. What the hell's down here? <gasps> a shrine to Nocturnal is what's down here. Look at this! <laughs> it's the Undercroft. Kinda cool. What the hell, dude? <laughs> and we have a couple grow beds down here, too. Very cool to see. Got some cabbage growing right there. Got a nern root right there. Can't replant that, unfortunately. That would be great if you could. Very cool. I would have almost uh, rather the mod author lift them, like, blank. So that you can grow your own stuff inside of them. But even still, that is kind of cool. Kind of a nice little area down there. Really, really neat. Okay, but that makes me think that in the other one, that there's going to be another secret passage. This is a cool way to do it, too. Because I, I was like, there's nothing back there. It's just pipes. But then... Up here, does the same thing happen? No, okay, so it's kind of like, kind of, it, oh, well, that looks cool. It's kind of what it meant to be. It's like, yeah, there's just pipes back there. You don't need to go back there and see it. But we found the library for the Bookworms of Skyrim. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you. This is cool. Look at this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this is so neat. What a cool reading nook. Got a nice little area up here to bring some cheese and some apples and some books. And all that stuff, and then when you feel like preaching, you stand at your lectern, and you preach to everybody in Skyrim. But that's pretty damn cool. So I do believe that's everything that this home has to offer, guys. And uh, let me say this, I'm delightfully surprised at how much this home has to offer, and how cool it looks, how well it flows together, and how nice it is. It's a big contender for a collector's home that I would probably use in a Let's Play if I needed more room if Castle Showblad did not have enough storage. Um, but it's a nice alternative to the big castles like Castle Shellblad. But it does feel very castle-esque being inside of here. So let me know, guys, down there in the comment section. Would you use it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know down there in the comment section. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.